Hi everyone, I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you guys are excited to be here today. I know I am. Um, it's been quite a while, well not really a while, maybe a week and a half before I posted a video on my channel so I decided it's time to come back and also it's just around my birthday and probably if you see this it's already past my birthday my birthday is on the 24th so yeah i've been in and out enjoying and just feeling myself and trying to embrace my new age and you know just having some me time and so now i am back and i am back to posting a video that i really really feel i would want to do i don't know why i feel like this video is very dear to my heart because i really really love fashion and style and everything that deals with you know things in that um area so i decided to come up with um a list of the fashion trends in this year that i'm actually really willing to try there's so many trends and if you have a look around if you like if you have an eye for fashion then you i'm sure you've seen around the runways and everything just to have a look at what's going to be new in uh, this whole year so i decided to get in some of the pieces that to me will work most of these pieces are pieces that i already have but they have now come into be an official trend of the year so i'm really so excited to wear them out over and over again and i hope you guys will enjoy this video before we get started after this very long introduction i hope you guys will subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and i hope i'll have a good time with you guys so let's just get right into it so the first and the foremost trend that many people really don't um, feel like they're so sure about is the snake print and snake print has been something that has been on and off actually to be fair because I've had snake print items and uh, ideas here and there for quite quite a while since maybe 2015 around there I think it was just like a trend that was coming in sm slowly so it's just like smooth transitioning into the year where now it's just the big thing for people to watch out this year and so I felt like maybe it's something I could try and so for just starters I decided to go for a shoe because the best way to incorporate trends slowly by slowly if you aren't sure about them is by trying on a shoe or like accessories so small small things that you feel like could really work and you you also wouldn't feel so bad about it if you actually didn't like it I feel like these shoes are just very nice and also very retro which is also another trend that is making its way throughout the year the sling back trend I don't think it's going anywhere I'm sure it's here to stay and I'm so glad that I've got myself these shoes I started cheap so I went to Primark and got myself a pair because it's good to start low so that even if you don't really really enjoy the trend or you don't enjoy it um, a few weeks or months to come then at least you wouldn't feel so bad about it I love these particular ones because they're also great so they'll go with so many things they can even go with this sweater um, that I'm wearing and I'm really really happy about that the second one to me is this color um last year mostly was blush pink but then this year we're looking into colors like neon and um coral pink and um, the coral color we're also looking into lilac we're also seeing a lot more um pressed rose because that's the pink color they're calling it this year and i feel like to me this is a color that's really going to work for me it's very it's deep it's not so bright it's not so blush it's so it's not very delicate like you would feel like blush pink would be to you so i feel like this is a color that would work so well and it also again it doubles up with two trends with the bubble sleeve um trend which has been ongoing for quite some time and i think if i would give you guys just an extra tip in terms of buying trends and everything the best thing you need to do if you're looking to buy trends you're not sure about combine two trends at a go so that if one doesn't work or like you're not sure about it, you don't need to buy your outfit twice you don't need to buy your clothing um like twice and then you might regret and whatever so on to this color i think one other thing that i have really been enjoying are these trousers these ones are also from primark they're very very good quality surprisingly well not surprisingly because primark has been outdoing themselves for quite some time now and these ones are just nice and very 
pressed rosish and because I love pink I feel like this is a trend I will never ever get tired of ever in my life um if we are talking about um, combining two trends at a go then I go with this neon and neon and snake print type of dress which I think I have a video um, either it's before this one or after this one I'm not sure which is which if it's before then I'll link it in the eye cards if it's after then I will also make sure to link it as soon as I upload that video and it's because this dress it's it it marks up it doubles up it actually kind of triples up as um, a couple of items that I would really really enjoy wearing and so one it is a slip dress I wasn't so sure about slip dresses and so I feel like this was such a good way of me transitioning into the trend that I wasn't so sure about secondly it is snake print so it's like full snake and if I wasn't sure about snake print which at this point I am quite sure about it and I really really love it to date and in, uh, if you see that video you will see the couple of ways that I have styled this dress to fit your everyday lifestyle and whatever and the third thing is that it is neon I wasn't so sure about neon because I'm not someone who's so out there well I have like one picture in 2015 2016 2015 where I was wearing everything neon which I don't think I would go back to doing that I am a very big fan of color but then I'm not sure if I would go to that extreme again so I feel like this dress just it triples up as so many things and so I feel like this is not a waste of my money I can wear it so many in so many ways and so at the end of the day I feel like this is such a win for me as we are talking about colors as well, I was saying about this color, which is the coral coral color, basically. It, it gives you some very tropical vibes, um, that's the word I'm looking for. And I feel like this is a color that is has slowly been creeping in because you see there was there was a time around 2015 2016 where um the oranges were just popping everybody was just wearing the orange color and so i feel like so to just tone it down a bit they went for this color which is perfect especially for the spring and summer because they're very bright colors they brighten your mood and i really really love this top which was actually a hand-me-down from my mommy and i love it because it um it brings different aspects of it it's such an open back i would wear it during the day during the night so it's it's a nice um, top for me the other one is this one that i got during the summer which combines so many colors together i really um i wore this in pictures with when i went to blackpool but the pictures don't look as good so i will probably get new pictures and show you guys what this looks like and the beauty of it is that it just it's not so out there it's just a bit subtle so it also combines the um, floaty sleeves according to the runways this is also going to make such a huge comeback this year um because you know we are going back in trend we are like recycling trends to be honest so i feel like this is such i am willing to try and wear this over and over again considering it's a summer piece i will keep on layering it and experimenting and then i'll show you guys either on the blog on instagram or on here how you could style this in an easy easy way um next we're talking about lilac and just as i was saying it is a color that actually i am not sure about and so combining this with another trend that i am 100 percent not sure about which is the tie-dye trend i decided to get a jumper that combines the two feels together and this is just something that i am so excited to wear i'm hoping that i will really really love this and because i am a fan of knit i could always wear this every time even if i don't really like the trend i will always wear a jumper because again scotland is really really freezing so i will never ever feel like this is not something that i wouldn't wear so i really really love that about this then if we're going to the next trend is um the toffee brown which is also to do with the colors that are about to be very trendy and very predominant according like to the in this whole year and well to be fair this is a color that is very close to most of us um in terms of the nudes so this is just one particular piece that i got a while ago from river island and i got it in the sale so i'm so happy that this is a color that is coming back officially as a trend because i just used to wear it because i loved it and it 
clearly fitted with my style and how I love to dress so it was very um, what do I call it what's the word I'm looking for in sync I think in sync with my style so I felt like that's one perfect way of dressing things up I have this on my snow inspired lookbook if i'm not wrong i don't think i have it in another lookbook in my channel but then yeah this is one that i am really a fan of and it feels very very good and i can't wait to wear it over and over again the other one is the snake print pair that you guys um pair of shoes that you guys have seen on my whole video second last is bows we are seeing bows become a big thing and so i am so happy that i got this blouse as a hand-me-down from mom as well and it's not so out there and it's also quite just chic um very chic and very feminine and it's also not so out there so this is just like a blouse that you could wear through and through and again if you're not sure about trends just start start small start with tiny things like this because you see if you don't really like this then you can do so many things like you can just trim off the the sleeves you can also just wear a jacket or a jumper on top and you're going to look okay and nobody is ever going to see um the bows if you really don't like it and then you see this one is just it's it's a very nice basic top if you want to go to work this is good for you to go to work in and also be trendy as well uh we're going back to fine print because i feel like fine print is really making such a huge comeback i am so excited for this one especially because i feel like this is so much of my grandma's style because most of the things she has are very um fine print be it in scarves be it in blouses bit like you see very very um small small things but it looks really really good and so I really can't wait to see how I would see myself selling this stuff. And one of the things that I have pre-owned since like 2014, because I got it from my grandma, of course, um, is a scarf. And this one is very um, nice and very Versace-esque type of fine print. And I have been wearing this for such a long time. I style it in very different ways. Sometimes I put it on the bag. I just wrap it around my bag. I put it as a scarf. I put it as a headscarf. So it, this one has taken me through ages, and I can't wear. I can't wait to rewear it again, especially now that now it is like you know an official trend. I, I really can't wait for this. And then I feel like the last thing in my my chunk of the pieces that I am really willing to wear coming this year is burnt orange which is also another subtle way of um putting in the coral color if you're not so into the brights and you know those colors out there so i feel like this is such a nice color to go around it and it feels very good i'm sure you guys have seen so many pictures of me in this color i have it in a jacket i have it in trousers i have it in you know this i have it i have so many things in this color because i feel like it's a color that is very subtle it's very first of all it's very out on me and you know you will have autumn every year and as in that's something that you is very inevitable so i feel like when you wear this and then if you buy them in in like versatile pieces that you can wear throughout the year then it's also a plus for you especially this one that i really really love because i can wear it during the summer with like a t-shirt and then during the winter I, I wear it a lot more times with like a turtleneck underneath and then just a pair of boots and you know just uh, you're good to go i'm happy i'm happy that some of the things um, most of the things that i already own are things that are coming back which comes to tell you that you need to follow your style first before you think about trends because then as soon as you're following your, your style and you buy things or you get things that really resonate well with your style then if they come on trend or if they don't also come on trend you're still going to be comfortable with with them and maybe sometime in the future some of the things you have because they're timeless and they work according to what your style looks like then in the near future they may be on trend they may you know because um, trends repeat themselves so very often and i'm sure this year and last year has been such a huge chunk or like a huge eye opener for that if you've not been you know following that much so yeah that's it from me today i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i can't wait to see you guys in my next one if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends share a link with like two three of your friends i feel like that would be such a perfect birthday present from you guys um yeah i think i'm rumbling too much and now 
I hope I will see you guys in my next video. Subscribe, 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 and bye! Thank you.